Okay, let me just talk about these characters real quick. Talk about Mandem. <laughs> I mean, I love this. I love this because it's about um everyday people. Like, I mean, let me describe them. You see, Andre, his power was super strength. All he wanted to do was just protect his son, AJ, you know. And previously, he had been in jail, so he just had so many fears. You know, a young boy growing up in South London. You know what I mean? Wagwan. And cause all these sort of things. <laughs> I'm like, what is wrong with these people? Every single day, gang fights with their funny, funny ass accents. You know, so they just put on the red bandanas, falling tough and all, enter the streets with their nicknames. Yeah, this one screams. This one is crazy. This one's nickname is uh, what? Mandem. You know, just kind of funny things. I'm like, but I love it. I love it. I loved it because. It's people you can relate to. So there's Sabrina. She was a nurse. And then her own power was telekinesis. And so what I noticed is that everybody here had people they were trying to protect. People that they loved. Then um, there was like Sabrina now. She was trying to protect her sisters. That one know the year word. She know the year word. She know the year word. Sure. She know the year word. Then there was Rodney. I mean, this guy just wanted to survive. He just wanted to be on the street selling speed. Se selling weed, sorry. <laughs> the one he realizes that his power is super speed. Like, how do you move from South London, yeah? And you find yourself in um, Scotland. <laughs> That's mad. That's mad. That's mad. Then there's Michael. Michael. He found his own power is time manipulation. Like, he can freeze time. He can see the future. So he found out that um, his fiance Dion Dion Fori was gonna die. I don't know. This guy was annoying me. I just feel like he should have just told her straight up. Dion, see waiting. I see you. Ha! It'd be like say this one go happen, that one go happen. He was just there, you know, being trying to form superhero. Michael arrests. Then there was Taser. Taser. Tayo Amoson. This guy. <laughs> I feel like they gave the most powerful power to the most annoying, annoying, annoying youth. Like, what, 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 what is your ambition? What is your ambition? What is your, what else? What is your taser? He's just an angry guy, you know, in the streets with the power to disappear and appear. Ha! With screams. That one, he just twists his mouth to one side. You know what I'm saying, man? I got your back, man. Well, tell me what I'm telling, bruv. What do you mean, cause? <laughs> Overall, the movie was okay, and I can't wait to see season two. Okay? Into the future. That wasn't a dream. Michael! I can't let her die. You married me? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Promise me you're not gonna go back. There's people in this world of superpowers. If you can save her, you need all four. If one dies, she dies. Find them before it's too late. I can move things without touching them. I just want it gone! This is a game changer. I don't think you should be using your powers for personal gain. You know how it feels to not be able to provide for your son. These powers are a part of us. Sis, you protected me like you always do. It's a matter of life and death. If the five of us are together, we can stop this. You're asking for too much. Hey, hey you're not listening to me. I can't do shit. The only life I'm trying to save is yours. Every day on the news, I see black boys like you killing one another. Don't you know your brothers? Eh? You want to end up like that Craig you used to follow, sitting in prison? That is not your own. My favorite Nigerian music to dance to, I would say Fuji. 
It's like old school, it's like real traditional, it's like a live band. And I only really hear it when I'm like at Nigerian traditional weddings. So that's an excuse to just kind of like shake a leg. I mean, people call it a bashment, but a bashment's actually like a rave or a street party. But it's like the bashment, the dance floor music that like just get your hips moving and whining and <laughs> so don't fuck my kind of music. No, you got Anthony Joshua, Ezra Adesanya, you got Kamara Usman. JJ Koch, I mean, that's legendary. Everyone, every time athletics, like the running, sprinting, you know, we re-rule that. So <laughs> obviously you've got Usain Bolt, Shelly and Fraser, like we run the athletics. Oh, who's my favorite Nigerian musician? I think it's Bird Boy. So I really like new school Nigerian music, like new school Afro beats, but I feel like nothing beats Sunny Ade because it's really nostalgic for me and it just brings up like being at home with my parents on a Saturday and them like blaring it through the house. Right now, I think it has to be Black Sheriff. He's been tearing it up the past few years and his music is really incredible, man. Since the first, first song called First Sermon, he's been banging it, man, so big up him. I've got many artists I love from South London, but I think if you're gonna give it to someone, I'll probably give it to Giggs. For me, he started a lot of the, the rap scene that we see today with a lot of it was on his shoulders, so um, pick up Giggs. Oh, being Nigerian to me means community, it means pride, it means confidence in who you are, and it also means never stop hustling. Like, the spirit of Nigeria is to always strive and to always try to uh, be more, do more, get more. It, it means never giving up. If you're proud of your culture, drop your flag in the comments and don't forget to check out Supercell now on Netflix. Nigel no de carry last.